Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to validate Excel files using the Cloudversive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This is a super simple and easy connector to use, and it can be used for free with a free tier Cloudversive API key. To demonstrate, I'm going to click Create and select the option to design an instant cloud flow. I'm quickly naming my flow and using the manual trigger option so I can have better control over my data during the demonstration. From the flow diagram page, we first need to grab the file we want to validate. My demo file lives in a SharePoint folder, so I'm quickly setting up a get file content action which will parse my demo file into the flow. After selecting my site address and grabbing my file through the folder path, I'm all done with this step. Now we can move on to the Cloudmersive connector action step. After clicking new step, we can type Cloudmersive into the action search bar and select the document conversion connector with the green logo from the list of options below. Before we move on, I want to quickly note that we do have a different connector labeled Data Validation Connector, which can be a little confusing. This connector can be used for validating plain text data such as XML, CSV, JSON, and more, but it's not the right connector to use for documents in this case. If it's your first time using the Document Conversion Connector or any of our connectors, you'll be confronted with the usual connector login phase before you can move to the connector actions list. This doesn't pop up anymore for me because I've saved my details already, but all you need to do is name your connection and enter your free tier Cloudmersive API key at this step. Once you do that, it'll save for future uses and you won't have to worry about doing that again. To get a free tier API key, just visit our website and register a free account. Once we reach the document conversion connector actions list, we just need to type validate an Excel document and the correct option will come up below. Once we click on that option, we'll have two simple request parameters to fill out. The first of these asks for our file content, which we can quickly parse in using Power Automate's dynamic content window. The second of these asks for a file name, which can be about anything at this point, so I'm just copying information from the previous step to make it easy. At this point, we're ready to test the connector functionality. After saving our flow, we can click Test in the upper right corner and confirm a few details before we ultimately click Run Flow and await our results. After the flow finishes running and confirms each step was successful, we can look at our connector action response body. As we can see here, the demo file I entered was found to be valid, and as a result, there weren't any errors or warnings identified. If your file is invalid, you'll receive an error count and a warning count, and this empty bracket here may contain additional information including error descriptions, a URI to the error, and more. When you're building this connector into your file processing flows, you can easily and intuitively use the document is valid response to halt your flow and create an instant feedback loop sending all relevant information to the flow administrator. With our test complete, we've reached the end of this demonstration video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, feel free to check out dozens of additional connector demonstrations available on our channel.